Two Mahusif Pops, an achievement in Balloon's Tower Defense 6 where you need to place down a single tower and then that tower gets 2 million or more Pops between round 6 to 100. So today, I could have thought about doing this with the Apache Prime, but no, let's take a step further. Let's go with Apache Dart Ship. And that is 40 or so thousand in which we can use for life support towers for stuff in which can help us with our endeavors here. So let's put down a submarine on carved and let's go. Also, that's a nice cauldron there. Set the submarine to strong so that it targets like the blue balloons. Oh. Yeah, and that's why we set it to strong, so I should have done that earlier. We'll just leave it on first for this round and then see how we go from there. Maybe first, might be strong. Who knows? This is a made-up experiment. Round A. Let's see how we deal with Strong. Maybe we need to put on Strong first and then first afterwards, depending on how far these balloons get. So, put it on Strong so it always targets with green balloons. And then once that comes over here, then switch back to first so that the submarine always targets the first most balloon. But these green ones are a little bit of a worry because of how fast they're traveling. But nonetheless, we dealt with that, and now we're putting down Gerardo for round nine. And we're putting down around the same position as the lovely submarine. And honestly, these will hold off the balloons until we get the heli pilot. How I can defend against these yellows, and the answer is... Ooh, just about there. Sometimes the number of balloons is more deadly than the strength of a single balloon, but we're nearly there with a placement of a heli pilot. The second most expensive placing down a balloon, balloon, oh, tower that there is. Oh gosh, we are suffering here. We might need to put some barbed darts on the submarine before we can place down the heli pilot. Barb Darts is acquired, so let's see how better we do on round 15. Now we have the additional pierce. Yeah, that cleared it up. So that Barb Darts was really necessary with our endeavors here. Sometimes additional pierce is better than additional damage because if we don't have enough pierce, then you can't utilize the damage. But if you don't have enough damage, then you can't utilize the pierce. They both work hand in hand together with one another, which is brilliant. Alas, on round 18, we can finally place down our heli pilot. We're going to put it on lock and place for a moment and just see how it does against all of these. It won't be able to pop all of these balloons, but it'll pop the majority of them. We will get the quad darts. We will get the faster darts. Yes, we're going with the faster fire rate over the faster speed and the ability to see camo. We'll obviously put camo detection on the heli pilot itself. At first, it will be the invisibility potion and then a radar scanner. Quad darts, pursue, and then soon afterwards, faster darts. But we will be placing down an invisibility potion first on the heli pilot so that it's able to target those pesky camo balloons. Round 25 is here, a bunch of regrow yellows and some purples, which will be our first natural barricade if it was a magical monkey of any kind. Unless, of course, it's like the Ninja Monkey or the Druid, which are much better suited for purple balloons than, let's say, the Super Monkey if it goes outside of the dance, or Alchemist that somehow has the means of targeting purple balloons and the Magical, or sorry, the Wizard Monkey, which obviously does not target them. I'm glad I accidentally spawned out there. Okay, so we need hit tips. So that's how we're going to be able to deal with these lead balloons here and now. There we go. So, what do we do now? I think faster firing is better. And then we're going to get Razor Rotor shortly after that as well. But we need a heat tip dart so we're able to initially target these lead balloons on an early round. Even though it seems like a waste of money in the long run. In the short run, we're able to... Well, we need to be able to put them down so that the long run can happen. It's all about thinking about what you need for the future. Razor Rotors is up. Then after that, the Apache Dart Ship. And then no more upgrades for this Heli Pilot because this is going to be our means for the two Mega Pops on this particular video. Longer range, advanced intel, then after that, submersion support. I don't know what I would do for these two Mega Pop videos if it wasn't for submersion support. Number one, because of the decamification of balloons. And number two, because of the fact that when it's submerged, it does not attack balloons. 
which is a godsend if you want another tower to do with two mega pops. Oh yes, the camera balloon, since our invisibility potion has run out, it means we have to rely on so much support in order for the camera, so the camo is here to be decamofied. So what's next on our agenda? I think a radar scanner would be good for our endeavors. Uh, we're just shy of it. Uh, there we go. Now we no longer need external camo support since we have the external camo support. But we need to pop these camo balloons. And thanks to the razor rotors, we are able to deal with these lead balloons. But there's the downside to razor rotors. If we equip an alchemist to this, every time that the razor rotor spins around, that counts as an attack. So alchemists will last very, very very minusculely so you'll notice that the acidic mixture dip and the strongest stimulant will go away almost immediately because of the fact that the razor rotors count as an attack and if they keep on well spinning around that means well the effects will last very 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 quickly jungle drums then we're going to get ourselves an alchemist here since we're going to need a short term attack boost even though like I said, it won't last for long. See, it just goes away immediately. The acidic mixture dip goes away immediately. And that's not just because of the dust, because of the razor rotors themselves. Why carved? Well, it's another map which is really easy to be able to get a hang of. And also, because of the fact that I keep doing these videos on either resort or logs, it's nice to have a change of pace. We've done it on carved, we've done it on candy falls. But we have yet to do it on another map. It might be so that the darts can pop the leads and the explosions later on can pop the blacks and the zebras and the DDTs. The only downside to bottom path in comparison to middle path is because of the fact that we cannot move as fast with the helicopter. Because of the fact that in middle path the helicopter gets bigger jets which allows us to move faster. Also it can have camera detection by default which would be a more ideal path if you're going up against phase when it releases an update 38 because with phase its radar jammer enables it so that if your tower does not have camera detection by default or by an upgrade within the upgrades in which the tower presents itself as then you're gonna have a hard time targeting phase and targeting those camo balloons because Despite the fact that you can have means of being able to remove a camo feature off of a balloon, the properties of phase mean so that if any balloons are decamified, they will be recamified, which is something that I've never said before in a video up until this point. Round 57, and we're still going strong with the 302 helicopter here. Razor Rotors is very good for those lead balloons, for those frozen balloons, even though they will not be an issue whatsoever. But yeah, sometimes a tier 3 might be what you need, but we're going that step further with a tier 4 with the Apache Dart Ship. And there we go. We will not be getting Apache Prime, we will be saving that for a more difficult map. Round 59 is here, and next up we're going to be getting ourselves the Overclock engineer i have tried this with ultra boost but to be honest it is an inferior version to homeland defense i do truly find that having both homeland defense and overclock is far better than just having ultra boost it is definitely an inferior version to homeland defense and it's definitely inferior than let's say having a perma brew which we hope to get as well throughout the playthrough of this video. If it's not in the thumbnail, then I won't have it. Yeah, it's cleaning up these ceramics really well. This is the last wave, and honestly, the missiles and their fire rate, everything alongside that is doing this very well. We don't need Geraldo's is fire, Jerry's, or the sharpening stone, which we can still utilize, because if you go to Apache Prime, the darts that fires out will be replaced by lasers. So therefore, you have a natural weakness to frozen balloons. So, so, you have a natural weakness to lead balloons, but you still have that weakness anyways. But then you have a weakness to purple balloons. That was what I was meant to say beforehand. You replaced your darts with lasers, and you're trading off the ability to pop purple balloons with the ability to pop frozen balloons, which I think ideally is inferior. 
Overclock is up, and now we can apply it to our wonderful Apache Dart ship, which will be a huge help in clearing out these later rounds. With Ultra Boost, you can get up to round 95, but the DDTs and the number of them will just swarm you. Like, you can have, like, a singular blue gun on the field, but that just will not help you at all against DDTs. And you won't be able to afford anything else like balloon sabots or snowstorms in order to slow down DDT so that the wonderful Apache Dart ship will have enough damage on board. Enough of a fire rate to be able to pop all of the DDTs because their sheer numbers are just overwhelming on the 95th round of the game. On Carved, I can use a similar setup than like I would on Logs, but for some odd reason, on this map, you can make it a bit further with the popish of the DDTs than you can on logs because of how the map is laid out. If you somehow make it so the DDTs appear on the bottom part of the mouth here, not the body of a pumpkin, but on the pop-up bottom part of the mouth, it means that the explosions that the Apache Dar ship can make can affect DDTs that are either on the bottom of the body or on the top part of the mouth as well as the bottom part of the map. So, literally three paths there in which you can utilize explosions if there are balloons currently on those three different paths here. Call to Arms is with us, and then soon followed after will be Homeland Defense when we have a 42,300 in order to afford it. You're doing very well. It's coming up to 3,333, let's combine Overclock with Quarter Arms to see how we do against this ZMG, and we're going to clear it, definitely. We're going to absolutely destroy the ZMG and its innards, its children, its everything in its entirety. Yeah, definitely a better version than Ultra Boost. Honestly, it's cheaper, even though it's temporary and not permanent. The, uh, the cost of accessing it is much more viable than trying to save up 77,600 for the Ultra Boost. Sorry, 77,760 for the Ultra Boost. Sorry about that. I am grammatically incorrect. Hmm, these Super Ceramics could be an issue. So we're going to put on some sharpening stones so that those darts, that the Apache dart ship fires, will be a bit more powerful in terms of strength and pierce. Mortal arms again, deal with all of these Moabs. Round 85, two ZMGs. What can we do against these? So, yeah, extra bonus would be good. So, Jerry's fire on that. Quarter arms on that. Already got an overclock in place. And now, we should be very, very good against these. And I think we're probably going to be sooner than the around 80 ZMG. Or maybe that's just me hallucinating. Round 86. The previous round is technically history because we've just dealt with it. So I'm not sure if we're able to afford a perma brew as well as Homeland Defense. There it is there. So that might be a hazard for us. Or maybe we'll just use the rest of our money on several support kind of towers. The Redentus Glue, the Balloon Sabo, the Snowstorm. I don't think there's anything else that we can use for support, really. Fortified Moab seem to be a little bit of an issue at the moment. And then there's these fortified BFBs, which will also be an issue to a certain extent. But I think we cleared them up just fine-ish. Yeah, the fortified layer really adds some additional difficulty. So, DDTs, call to arms, as well as overclock, and we're able to deal with them just fine. Not flawlessly but fine so we no longer need the quarter arms because we're going to go to the homeland defense which will be an even bigger freight to the balloons than the quarter arms was also last longer as well homeland defense is up dealing with the rest of these fortified moabs round 98 could be an issue and the amount of rounds we have i I don't think we're able to get perma to be honest. I'd love to get it, but I just don't think we have the monetary means to get it. Like we have Homeland Defense, we have our wonderful SNS submarine. Round 93 and DDTs again. Overclock, then Homeland Defense. Yeah, DDTs can be a huge issue. 
I might think that some support might be needed because I don't think 64,800 is going to be possible at this point in time. So let's put one of these over here to deal with the initial mower threats. Let's see. Overclock the heli. Homeland defense for the everything. Sharpening stone, the helicopter again, lovely. Gonna need to put another Joe's fires down for round 95. Uh, we're 3k short from a balloon sabo, which would have been very handy for round 95 actually, because of the menacing DDTs. So the only round we need to reset on was round seven, that was because of a submarine. Nothing to do with the actual tower itself, which we're getting two mega bobs on. Put that down there, lovely. So the big threats will be the DDTs on this round. There's going to be, I think it's like 20 of them or so. And then defense, lovely. There's the travel speed of these things, which are a big worry. Hmm. Homeland defense has run out, but we're almost run out of DDTs to pop actually. So balloon stabber is now in place, so they've all slowed down, which is lovely. The balloon server cannot manually target balloons in general, which is good. Possibly when the bad comes around, even though with this range, the bad might be in range. Round 96. This is like the second most plentiful round when it comes to RBE in chimps. Or in just uh, non free play in general. But then again, this is actually free play. Sorry about that. Overclock on the. Uh, Helicopter again. Helipopter. So what can do with the rest of our money? I'm thinking of another balloon salvo. There we go. Slow down with balloons even more. We'll not worry about homeland defense anymore for this round because we've got this in the bag. We will use another balloon salvo though to slow these down. Yeah, we definitely won't have the money for a, a, a plumber brew of any sort. Just take it on a bunch of support with those towers and then we'll be fine. But also, I think we could have used Homeland Defense for this round and then it would recharge around 97, but we played as we lied. Happy Gilmore. Uh, let's see. Green Sabo and Homeland Defense, along with Overclock as well, which is lovely. We're a fourth Overclock in Ninja Kiwi. Excellent. I love you. Green Sabo again. Go through all this. Somehow the ceramics are stupidly fast. What under a balloon sabo effect? 997 has been realized. Okay, so round 98. Let's plop down the creepy idol. So let's do it here and let's do it at the beginning of the mouth as well. And then round 99, sorry, probably plop them down at near the bottom of the mouth. Let's see, another balloon sabo. I guess a trade off with this in comparison to let's say the snowstorm is that the balloon sabos just don't get any damage, it just slows down the balloons, which is a fantastic support kind of tower in which one really needs some these scenarios, especially in the late game. So another balloon sabo is there, We've got three of them now, now we can hold them off for 75% of the time. Still dealing the damage to these things, which is lovely. See, if you put the right support on a particular kind of tower, it can achieve anything. Although some towers are too weak to pull this off. Cough, cough, zero, 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 dark monkey. Nearly there on round 98. Let's... Now, we're going to go with a snowstorm, actually, for the remainder of this. Let's put it down over here. Put it over. Oh, wait, hold on. I went the wrong path. I should have went with a permafrost. Just pretend this retry never happened whatsoever. Me and my stupid misclicking on the ice tower, like cross path, you know, stuff like that. Right. There we go. Now we can't muck it up. We can still muck it up, though, somehow. So we've got three balloon sabos up already, which will be very, very, very ideal for this scenario. Got that in 
place. You can use another balloon sabo. Deep freeze, Arctic wind next, and then snowstorm, which is very handy. Number one for its ability, and number two, it's able to provide the entire world with time map side with a permafrost perma effect, which slows down balloons. But I'm definitely am not sure if it also applies to the children layers as well. So therefore, if a ZMG that's been permafrost goes down to the BFB. Will the permanent boss also apply to a BFB as well? Oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have not put down these. Put them down, put them down. Don't care where, just put them down. <laughs> oh dear me. Your shop is complete, Geraldo. Lovely. So, fortify DETs, but no worries whatsoever. There we go. Yeah, they definitely pack a punch for fortified ones. They are so annoying to deal with. Snowstorm is in place, and we are set for the mighty bad. That is indeed one glorious specimen in the deep blue sea. Homeland defense. The ninja sabos won't do jack against the BFB. Sorry, the, the ba BAD because of the fact that it cannot be slowed down in any way, shape, or form. Aside from the time stop power, but of course there are no powers here. We have no power in this place. So the tail is now bandaged, which means this, this whale will be soon be deflated. So let's see. Overclock, lovely. Come on, when's it going to go down? Lovely. Sabo in place. Now this is in place. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to get it. Because these are still ZMGs, we're definitely going to get it. Okay, Ninja Sabo's run out. Homeland defense is in play. Sharp. Okay, so we're just going to put this on there for whatever reasons. Another Sabo, which we used to... Oh, anyways. <laughs> I was talking for too much, and now we are here at the finish line. With a rather unique Insta Monkey, the Zua Zua One Boomerang Monkey. And we got 2,019,956 pops. So essentially 2,020,000 pops for our wonderful Apache Dart ship. So there's only like a few regrows that happened here. Probably like four or 104 at the very most happened here but we definitely succeeded in this challenge and we definitely wanted the bottom path in comparison to the middle path because the bottom path increases the fire rate and the projectile speed in which the heli pilot throws and is able to throw them out at so here we go Obviously, the Gloon Splatter Relentless Glue does zero. This is a very ideal support tower. The Alchemist somehow churned up nearly 10,000, which is, is worrying. The Snowstorm at the very end only got nearly 300, but that was mainly for slowing down and the Power Brew effect. Some motion support, early camo decamification. Obviously, once we got Radar Scanner, we wouldn't need that, but they're still there for lols. Geraldo for some support. Like, when it comes to support, Geraldo is the number one tower for chimps. Like, yes, he is used for mainly the Power Gone Power Totems. If you want to get a level, sorry, the Degree 100 Power Gons on Solo. Vietnam flashbacks to the 7 Power Gone Solo video. <laughs> so, yeah, I did fail to put down the other two creepy idols, but that doesn't matter. I like this strategy of placing down two creepy idols before Gerardo gets around so to level 20 just so that we can then place down two more fresh creepy idols because of his shop with clan machine and the fact around 100 we can get up to four of these applied down at any given point in time so thank you all so much for this wonderful video and for your time watching it that is two mega pops with the apache dart ship i do want to try the apache prime wait a minute is it apache Oh, we can't even tell from this. Yeah, the Apache Prime. I want to do it on a harder map. Because we did Comanche Commander on logs because of a fact that the Comanche Commander is... I don't think it's anywhere near as powerful as Apache Prime. Unless it's for like certain scenarios like stalling Moabs. 
but then you could just pop the moos rather than just stalling them so when it comes to apache prime to mega box what map would you like to see me do it on i'm thinking of like a long length intermediate map my balance could be okay for it but then again there's the initial getting it in the first place moon landing could also be good as well like a apache prime moon landing to mega pops but when it comes to gravity that wouldn't really work out because the helicopters will just float away on the moon but this is a game and not real life downstream could also be good haunted not so much because it's a two laned map and helicopters struggle with multi-lane maps shoots i've never done before like when it comes to some of these maps i have not been able to do them on chimps at all like there's some here thinking oh i can think of an easy strategy for each of these maps but then like other ones i definitely like advanced maps and expert maps i have not tried chimps on any of these because i know i'd suck at them thank you so much for watching and let me know what tarot you'd like to see me do next i'm thinking of dragon's breath because i've tried to do an ultra boost with dragon's breath but kind of like the apache dart ship round 95 is the number one killer for us there but nonetheless thank you all so much for watching everyone and take care of yourselves looking forward to phase when update 38 is here